Inside a kitchen in a housing complex in Gurugram, cooks mash potatoes, season vegetables and make bread to prepare about 100 meals every day for families whose money has run out. The rations are bought with contributions from residents for whom this kitchen usually makes food. The cooks make sure it is a satisfying meal. We make spicy food so that it is not bland and those who eat it find it tasty. At a commercial kitchen that usually caters Asian food, cooks are preparing hundreds of nutritious meals of rice and lentils for the hungry under another community initiative. We see a lot of men. Uh, who would have been working and they don't have any means, so they're standing there. We keep getting uh, calls, uh, urgent calls. So today we got a call with 14 uh, day wagers who are stuck in the Nathupur DLF-83 area. They haven't had food for two days. Stories of tens of thousands of migrant labour stranded in cities without jobs and money after India imposed a stringent lockdown to contain the coronavirus prompted efforts ranging from modest to bigger ones. That includes restaurants. Although they remain shuttered, some have fired up their stoves. Well, these people don't even have money to eat. They have no jobs. Um, they have no way to feed their children. And I don't think uh, you know, it can be worse of a situation for a human being than to be put into that kind of a scenario. So that really touched a chord. His restaurants prepared about 5,000 meals a day. Our job in the restaurant industry is to feed people. So this is what we do. Generous contributions from friends and others has enabled Arjun Pandey to scale up from 200 meals to over 2,500 a day. This became uh, a true community initiative. And I think that's the biggest uh, take back for me or one of the reasons that sort of empowers me every day when I go out to distribute these meals uh, is the number of volunteers, is how society is standing together. All of us have united as one to fight this pandemic. Such efforts to ensure that the poor don't go hungry may have to be sustained for long, as the struggle to find jobs will not end any time soon amid a battered economy. Anjana Pasricha for VOA News, New Delhi.